but I have to get going. Sorry. I'll come back, okay? Bye. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Home sweet home. Time to get some work done. I got some meat goring and fried eggs for dinner. Come here. I'll pet you here. I just started my step studying and I've just done about five or six hours of studying. So I've been kind of losing focus. But this cutie is helping me regain my focus. Got another one. You like that? I know you like that. Hello YouTube. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, this one's a female and that one's a male. And the female one likes me more. And I like her more too. Hi YouTube, this is Jung Yoon and today I just went to the hospital. It's been a long time since I've been. Today we had to go and take a history of the patients and take a physical examination. And it was really interesting because I had a patient who had pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is usually due to um, either gallstones or alcohol. And in this case, uh, she had gallstones that caused pancreatitis. Me and two other girls had taken the full history and examination including like the heart, uh, the lungs, the GI system, and the renal, and everything. And we had taken her social history, like uh, what she does for a living, um, how long she's lived in Qatar. Also like the chief complaint, what did she have? She had uh, stomach pain with like vomiting, some palpitations, just like beating up the heart. So all these things, and it was pretty interesting. But what was even more helpful was after that, I had this amazing doctor. She was really good at explaining like the different systems of the body. Like she was connecting how this patient had stomach issues, but it can kind of connect with the heart and also the kidneys, which was just amazing. I'm basically done with my preclinical years. Now I'm starting off with my step studying properly with my friends here. And I gotta do like so many year old questions and go over first date, meet them over, and just like spend eight to ten hours a day studying. I got this. That would be like one minute talking, and then just like a 30 second of you just like walking around. Okay. Or like studying. Okay. Yeah. I'm also, I'll, I'll also put this, you explaining this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you do this? <laughs> so how's the step grind? It's non-existent. That's what we were supposed to do this past hour. Right, so I'm a little bit behind schedule today. Because yesterday I was working on my research project and writing um, the proposal for that. So I have Sketchy Farm, First Aid, and U World to do from yesterday. And today I have 18 pages, 50 questions, and 21 minutes of lectures to watch. Okay, so here's my ramen and rice. They go really good together, so I highly recommend. Also, I haven't been eating that well recently because time is money. I haven't had much time, so ramen, two eggs, and rice is plenty for just one meal. All right, so I've just finished all my questions on your world on the male reproductive system. And one new thing that I learned today was about Klinefelter syndrome. It's a syndrome in which your sex chromosomes are XXY instead of XX or XY. And it's characterized by gynecomastia, which is enlargements of the breasts, tall stature, and infertility. Fun fact. <laughs> I 
할머니 할아버지 건강하시고 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 네. 100점 맞아야 돼요. 100점 맞아야죠. 와, 열심히 공부해야 되겠다. 네, 열심히 하겠습니다. 엄마, 아빠, 대학교 다니게 해주셔서 감사하고, 잘 키워주셔서 감사합니다. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 아니, 길을 받아라, 길을. So, how did you feel about that, Oski? It was okay. You were supposed to just mime through all of it instead of actually touch the patient, but... Alright, so after all that studying yesterday, I kind of slept late and I also had to come to school today for an OSCE. And OSCEs are basically taking a patient's history and doing a physical examination on a standardized patient. And today's OSCE was supposed to be on the head, eyes, ears, nose, throat exam. And I think I got that done quite okay, I hope. I passed, but yeah, it's been a busy morning. That's why I couldn't even shave. And today is another day of dedicated step studying, so I gotta get to it. I'm gonna get some coffee and make sure I work my butt off. Pro tip, if you boil exactly 550 milliliters of water, you can make it ramen really, really fast. Flakes in, ramen in, rest of the flakes in. Shin ramen, Son Heung Min, represent. I support you, son. Another pro tip. If you make a bunch of rice together and you freeze it right away, just heat it up in the microwave for two minutes and it's gonna be good as new. Let's be honest. What kind of monster eats ramen with a white shirt on? Already. Haha, <laughs> 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 I'm so funny. So for UWorld, I've been doing microbiology and infectious disease questions. And what's really interesting is antibiotics. Before starting med medical school, I had no idea about how antibiotics work. And I never knew about like so many different types of antibiotics. Like for example, if you have pneumonia, it doesn't mean that you have this one antibiotic to use for all types of pneumonia. It's like you have to know exactly like which organism or which bacteria cause the pneumonia and treat accordingly. That makes it so interesting because antibiotics have like different mechanisms of actions. So you have to know what the bacteria or microorganism looks like in order to properly treat the infection. It's really hard to memorize antibiotics because there are so many different types and they all sound similar. So I need to put in a lot of effort into memorizing different types, uh, side effects, uh, mechanism of action or any drug interactions. Got some nasi goreng and a diet Pepsi for dinner. Yummy! I'm going for my night study, and this cat shows up and she's begging me to be pet, so how can I refuse that? Just gave her some food. Are you happy? I don't know what breed she is, but let me know in the comments if you know. Hey there! Come here. Alright guys, I want to pet you all day but I have to go Wish me good luck. I'm sorry, but I have to get going. I'm sorry. I'll come back, okay? Bye. I'm sorry. Bye. That's just one sad looking smile over there. Oh, I tried. It's another beautiful day of step studying. I promised myself to get at least 80 questions done for today and that's at least along with other other videos so I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna make sure to turn off my phone I've called my family I'm trying not to be distracted until at least I finish everything such a beautiful day today 
Beautiful day for studying, isn't it? Make sure to get out to the sun at least 10 minutes a day to get your vitamin D. That's important. It's always sunny in Qatar, but there's a lot of people who are vitamin vitamin D deficient because most of the time people spend indoors and don't get enough sun. What's up, man? Wish me good luck. Butt tap, butt tap, butt tap. Sorry, I don't have any food. She might be pregnant. It's a big bump there. Is that a pregnant belly? Johnny Rockets mukbang. I got a pretty good deal. Two burgers and fries and a Coke, all for 40 rials, which is like $12. This is kind of my cheat meal because I've been studying really hard and, you know, got some burgers. Okay, so one new thing that I learned today is that if you have mononucleosis, which is a viral illness, and if the doctor gives you an antibiotic such as penicillin, then you can get like like severe rashes all over your body and I will never forget this because I remember in high school I used to have fever and sore throat and so I got augmenting which is a penicillin and after taking the penicillin I had rashes all over my body so that's just something I'll never forget personally I think Johnny Rockets has the best burger in Doha the best fries are from Five Guys, though. I'm super tired, and I just want to go home and sleep. But I can't resist this cutie kitty. I definitely think she's pregnant. I should get her some more food. Alright, so I got all my studying done today. And today is Friday, which means that I have another weekend day tomorrow to work on my step one studying as much as I can. So I'll try to wake up early so I can do that. And if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about anything or make any other videos or any suggestions. This kid is playing a tug of war with me. I ask her to come and she doesn't come. But when I pet her, she likes it. You prickle lady.